subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! The first time that you do it, you know, you've got that kind of bit of fear. You need fear to feel alive. We haven't had like these social interactions that we're used to. And I think people have suffered for it, for not going to work, staying at home. The way the world is right now with the COVID and everything, I think a lot of people are shutting off. And when you're shutting off, you're then just going onto your phone, onto social media, comparing yourself to other people's lives. I've suffered from depression and anxiety a few years ago now. Um, I've not fully gotten over it, but I've learned to deal with it, you know. I, I would just lock things up and just not kind of let anything out. I was bottling emotions when I, mean, I, sh I shouldn't have been. Um, I had a lot of people around me but it's just the old scenario, you know, being, being a man. And I mean, on my worst day, um, I would struggle to get out of bed. I didn't want to speak to anybody. I had no pride. I didn't want to do anything. You know, we talk about the Scottish Highlands, the geography of the Scottish Highlands, where that um, remote, you know, it's, it's got such a, a vastness to it. Uh, I don't, every time I go in, I just feel, I don't know, just happy. And then when you come out, you get this rush of like, I, I feel this heat. It's weird, even though it's like minus two, I just get that rush of heat um, in my body. I don't know, it's just like euphoria for me. The best way, I think, is just to jump in for it, personally. Um, so, that's it. Cold is not about being tough. It's about learning to get a hold of what is going on in the mind, to get clarity, to just be, to feel the purpose of life itself there without label. warmer in there than it is out here. Okay. Look at it that way. <laughs> Looking forward to it? Can't we? Yeah. Yeah. We're born ready, mate. Yeah. Born, born ready. ready. Born ready, exactly. Okay, I'm in. Oh, crack. When it's going in for the first time, you know, they'll feel that fear. And, you know, with, with fear comes that feeling of feeling of being alive, you know, you, you know you're alive because you're scared of this kind of unknown you've never been in before. Um, it's almost meeting that fear head on and saying that you're not going to accept that I'm, I'm scared of it, you know, you're going to overcome that. So already you're starting to feel that sense of achievement because you know you're going to do it. So you're feeling alive, you're feeling that sense of achievement, yeah, I'm going to go in. You take that first step in. <laughs> and if you're not mentally prepared for it, it can be one of the most difficult steps you can take because you're going into, you know, the sub-zero temperatures. I just want to 
jump in. It's almost just up to about there and me. Yeah, at that moment, uh, different things are going to happen with your body, but you decided to do that. So your will is there, your awareness is there, and you step into the out of comfort zone. And then you are able to uh, get a, a, a neurological connection with that. And that is, a, 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 a in my case, that uh, I felt this is it. Just jump. Just jump. It's only up to there. It's not, like it's not deep. There you oh. go. Oh. Well done. Oh. Oh, oh my nice. god. Good effort, guys. There you go. Good effort, guys. Awesome. Good. Just breathe. Feeling okay? Sauna. Like a sauna. Ah, you're sweating. <laughs> and that Woo! goes beyond thoughts. It is a feeling. And that feeling is missing out on so many people who get in depression because they don't feel anymore. And the turmoil of a stressful uh, turmoil of thought patterns going on, 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 while not feeling is feeling bad. It's a, 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 a you feeling good is feeling your presence, essence, here and now. And when that is gone, disconnected, because of trauma, because of whatsoever, then you, uh, the, the pressure, the essence, the presence is gone. The pressure loss, that's depression. Good effort, guys. Well done, Just stay here. So try and get your shoulders. Try and go up to up to here if you can. Good job. Oh, Broge. Come on. There you go, mate. That's it. That's it. How are you feeling? Spicy and icy. <laughs> well done, mate. It's like everything in slow motion. And uh, uh, there I felt this is what I want. Things beyond time, things beyond calculation, things beyond thoughts, presence, pure presence, a connection deeply within that made me able just to, uh, 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 just to witness what was going on there inside the water. I did not feel the cold. I did not feel negativity. I felt power, inner power. And that inner power, uh, uh, that was uh, uh, just amazing and uh, amazing moments. I went out, I had a rush for the rest of the day, uh, something, something beautiful. Then the other day I came back and the same thing happened. So since then, when you, once you feel uh, uh, yourself good about something, you go back. And this is what I've been doing the last 44 years, going always back to my cold friend. I, I call my, uh, the cold my warm friend, actually.
On one occasion, um, it did come to a head where I wanted to end it all, um, which resulted in me driving down the A9, 100 mile an hour, take my seatbelt off and try to find a tree. Luckily enough for me, I never found a tree. Uh, I ended up going home and speaking to my mother about it, who then took me to the doctor, and then the next day I was in uh, New Craig's up in Inverness and spent two weeks up there with uh, intensive therapy. So. Um, seven years ago, I was, I was, I was 25, uh, I lost my dad, so um, I've got two younger brothers and a younger sister, so it was, um, it was a really hard time. Um, I, I, I'm the kind of person I bottle bottle emotions. Yeah, I lost my mum, um, and that definitely did affect my mental health. I mean, at the time I kind of just shut everybody out, and I did that thing where I didn't select people I did kind of reach out to, but a lot of people I didn't, and I struggled for years until it got so bad that it was kind of like a breaking point. Uh, like I said, the gym's a massive thing for autism, but I think with this lockdown thing going on, if you can't get into the gym, this cold fit therapy is kind of, is unbelievable. I mean, uh, like my head goes into overdrive, you know, I need everything kind of precise. precise uh, I don't like change, like I said, you know, but when I'm in that water, I kind of just, everything just goes out my head and all I'm thinking about, I'm not really thinking about anything. Like I said, you know, I may be in a good place or just in my world on my own just because of the kind of rush I'm getting and for me that's when you're autistic and stuff like that that's what everybody like that's what people with autism love that you know just in their own wee space their own wee world for that five ten minutes and then it's just like nothing else matters and every time I go in the water that's what I feel like Two thousand twenty suicides on the rise we're not doing our jobs right that's the thing that's no matter what anyone says we're not doing our jobs as a human race we're not doing that we're not doing ourselves a, a justice because we're letting more people take their own lives and that's not okay i just implore anyone just to go out and i know it sounds so like stupid just to go and sit for 10 minutes in a cold water or in a, in a sea or river or a loch lake pond bath, whatever, but just go in and you get that sense of, almost that sense of self-worth back. The cold is the teacher. It shows you that you are able to become so much stronger from the inside. That's what we teach. And when once you become so strong that you are able to go easy with swimming outside in uh, Loch Ness, man, you become bigger than any dragon. Just jump in and then breathe. Breathe and uh, close your eyes, literally. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't think Wim Hof would work, but when I'm in there breathing, like that felt, uh, no, honestly, that felt more than like 20, 25 degrees. I don't think you ever get used to it, but what you do get used to is expecting. Get some of that body heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can get quite, in quite easy, so. It's, yeah, it was uh, good, eh? What was, that, what, what was the difference between before and after? Uh, I was a bit nervous going in, but once you're in and you've got your, once you've settled, yeah, it's actually all right. Ah, you feel, you do feel good after it. Ah, surprisingly, yeah. You're able to look around and 
take everything in. It's like everything's sharper. Enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. And I, now, I feel, I don't know, you just feel energised. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. So yeah. I feel mentally, I feel alive. Is that the right word? I feel good. Just my hands are numb. <laughs> but I feel actually good. Just genuinely quite relaxed. I think I just surprised myself with how able I was to keep my breathing constant and not like Did myself. You feel that clarity? I genuinely feel clarity now, yeah. Yeah, genuinely just feel very calm, which is surprising. But, oh, feeling refreshed after that. I feel like I've just been reborn. <laughs> <laughs> but for the time you're in there, nothing like really matters. So, so like your head, it does clear your head definitely. Um, just like the feeling of like, I don't know, it's like you go into like a survival mode. Mentally, you just, you can't think of anything. Yeah. It's, uh, everything just goes blank. Yeah. Just, uh, it's hard to explain, you know, it's so, oh, it's cold. It, obviously it's cold, but um, I feel like so much better, so much calmer. Well, the pain in the hands and the feet is taken away from the, I guess the exhilaration in the head. But, uh, Okay. Enjoy it. The thing yeah. I would say is yeah. if you can get past the thought process of actually just doing it and just go for it and just do it, honestly, the benefits and the achievement that you get from it is just so worthwhile. Like, I totally recommend it. You feel like you, your mind's just so clear. Like, right now, I feel like exhilarated and ready to go, like, just like kind of seize the day. I mean, if you're suffering from anything or going through like hard times and stuff like that, I think the benefits, not only physically from this for your body, but mentally, a lot of it is mental up in the head. We get in our own heads a lot of the time. So getting out there and doing that, just like it clears everything, even just for a short period of time. And then you'll want to do it again and again and again. And it's just absolutely brilliant. I totally recommend You're it. You're scared, really. Cold. When you come out, you, you've achieved it. You've, you've done it. So it's achievement for me. talk to someone and I think that's what we need to learn to do um, is to talk to people and and realize that it's not showing a weakness you know we're not because I, I get upset about my mum dying that's not a weakness for me that's just that's something that everyone goes through everyone has that loss and because I get upset and sad about it, it doesn't mean I'm weak I'm one of the strongest men in the planet in the planet and I know mentally I'm very strong but I do have my down days and that's not because I'm weak, it's just because I have to deal with that and go into the cold water with my friends and being able to talk about things. That has that sense of unity and the sense of kind of support. You know, if, if, we, if we just have, if you're just by yourself your whole life, you don't get a chance to impact on other people's lives. And I think that's, for me, that's, that's a very depressing thought. If I didn't ever impact positively on someone else's life, that would be a waste of my life, you know, because we're not here. We're very lucky to be here, you know, me speaking to you guys. It's, it's, it's very, very fortunate that I managed to be me, you know, from my mum and dad. We do impact people in the right way. That's, that's all I want to do, and certainly coming together um, that we have done, you know, today with all the people coming together, it was just such a sense of that morale that everyone had, everyone was just buzzing and just in cloud nine. And I think, again, if you could bottle up that kind of feeling that people have, oh, geez, man, you, you'd cure, that would be, if we could bottle that, up, that feeling up and give it to people with like depression, anxiety, this and that, that'd be cured 100%, because it's just, you're on cloud nine and, and everyone's just, everyone's sharing it with you, everyone's happy. Oh, how did you feel? How was that? Was that cold? Are we, oh, I'm roasting, I'm buzzing, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm cold now. And you know, everyone's communicating and having that good time and, and happy. That's the thing, you know, to be happy after a put, to be happy after putting your body in a stressful, stressful situation like that ice water, that says something about the human body, you know, <laughs> to put yourself in that stressful position, but still come out smiling. I mean, that just shows you that the human body is just built of tougher stuff than I think that we even, 
we even know yet. We don't know half of what the, the human body's capable of. And I think that's where the science comes in, and that's the exciting things to see how far we can take things with the human body. So, yeah. So, Lewis and I, we've been kind of childhood friends. I think since I was about eight years old, we used to go to a, a football training school, Rangers Boys Club. And Lewis was, um, well, I remember the first day I went there, there was this guy jumping around in the basketball ring. He was like literally on top of the basketball ring. Um, and that was Lewis. And since then, we've been kind of, um, yeah, just good friends. We went to school together, grew up together, and kind of, I suppose, almost 30 years on, we're still best mates now. Lewis went through some trauma, you know, he, he lost his brother last year, um, and I think that, you know, affected him quite quite badly, and, um, you know, maybe turned to kind of a bit more of the, the drinking and kind of not, like, neglecting looking after himself. And I just said to Lewis, like, right, I'm picking you up, we're going for a swim, um, and let's see what happens. And I've never seen a change in someone like that. It was, it was absolute instant. <laughs> you alright, mate? How are you? I'm good, man, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> It's been mental, mate. Yeah, Luke's been telling me. It's been mental. So I was working on the, the in the local shipyard, 12-hour shifts, quite sporadic, so you would work maybe eight months on, and then when the project's done, you could be five months off. And that, at my lowest, I was like four months out of work, and it was like, do I really want to do this? Looking to just the cold water to me, and I kind of got a wee buzz again, and I was like, life doesn't have to be what I knew up until then, like working in the oil and gas. I really had a, a keen interest in music and I knew when the lockdown was going to be done, there was going to be a market there for getting events on. That's when the, I did that video, video. There wasn't actually a job there at the time. Halfway through making it, they released uh, five jobs, five, five jobs, and one of them was one that I was like, Jesus, that's meant to be written. That's written in the stars. The managing director of Five, he absolutely loved it. He said it was the best job application he's ever seen. And that wouldn't happen without the cold water. Every time you go into the cold water, for me, I'm fighting. I know it's going. To, I know it's not as bad as what I think. And getting under straight away, that's a challenge for me. Every time, it's never. I'm not used to it. So that that pushing yourself and and even getting getting in the car to go is like you're putting yourself in an uncomfortable position you could easily just stay and watch TV but you know the end the end game is you're gonna feel amazing your whole body's gonna be tingling and you you're gonna be laughing you're, you're gonna feel exhilarated and that, it's like cold water just cold water therapy it's, the words don't do it just if you get if you get two minutes of just your mind going blank and breathing, that's, that's better than nothing. And it's like that two minutes sets you up for the rest of the day, mate. So it changed life? 100%. I ain't proud it doesn't come close to it. It doesn't come close to the words I feel of how, how much Lewis has changed for the better. And, and what I see Lewis bringing to other people. That's, that brings me happiness and, and like a sense of joy I probably never feel. So, um, yeah, proud is the, the, the bare minimum of what I feel towards Lewis at the moment. So it's, it's pretty amazing. That's fucking... Man. Whew. Drive, Luke. Drive. It's <laughs> <laughs> horrible, isn't it? Uh, it's good. Oh. It came from you, Luke, though, mate. 
but it's, that's what you're saying, it's fed. Just an idea, mate, isn't it? Just... I want Evan around me to be positive, and if they're not, then why? Let's, let's help them. Like you say, you've got to try. You've got to just try and take that first step. That first step is tough. It's into the unknown. It's like, why would I get up at half five in the morning to try this? Yeah. I can be a comfort in my bed. It's, it might not work. Okay, it might not work, but then it might work, and you might change everything. Try it. Yeah. Try that. Try it, and you'll never look back. Now.